What's up guys, Inferno here, and welcome back to Modern Warfare 2. What I got for you today is the highest recoil M4A1 possible, just like a challenge. Obviously there's no practicality behind this, it's just I want to do it, so. Obviously recoil control would do stock. It says that the Ravage 8 has less than the Tempest P80, so I'll go ahead and do that. I do not have the SMG M4 to the level 12 yet, so we're going to stick with the X10 grip at it. It's reduced recoil, but overpressured ammo type actually has recoil control reduction, so we'll go ahead and do that too. Tempest Trench Pro Barrel for reduced, of course. And we'll top it all off with the biggest zoom scope we got because i hate myself 8.0 sounds about right not gonna lie it doesn't look too bad compared to what we could do on model for 19. something else that we could do is we can actually go into the tuning and hurt the recoil even more or wait, I went the wrong way. So we'll go increase damage range, increase bullet velocity on this. Hurts the recoil a lot. Hurt the recoil stay in this and we're gonna leave this bottom part alone here if I can get it back to neutral. Duh. There we go. Because neither of those stats actually affect recoil control, so we can reduce aim steadiness too, because why not? And finally, the X10 grip reduces recoil steadiness and the aiming idle stability. Now we officially got the highest recoil M4. Something you might notice when clicking on this is that it's labeled a row 2. Because of the remainder of the road to Ryan series, I want to combine unlocking gold with a challenge like this, or any sort of special thing like this, like taking the RPG into search and destroy, or using the highest recoil builds of full automatic, or claiming that the battle rifles actually have a purpose. I might get some hate that but i don't care basically i don't want it to just be get three kills about dying and then get gold and show off gold for 51 different times not including platinum and polyatomic i realize it's gonna get boring over time so i'm gonna mix in some fancy stuff like this here so but it wouldn't be a road to if it didn't actually show me a lock in gold but the majority premise of this video is going to be the highest recoil m4a1 in modern warfare 2 but if you guys enjoyed the video though make sure you drop a like subscribe i have a discord the links in the description got a lot of other camera grinders in there as well so if you want to be part of that community love to have you yeah let's go ahead and show me a lock in gold and then we'll get into the high recoil m4 i should point out that the unlocking gold is a quarter before season one so keep that in mind when watching but yeah enjoy wow that's so crazy dude hey why don't you show up and get a better mic bitch i hear you i hear you oh my fucking god no this <laughs> I'm in a bad spot. I hate this game. <laughs> there we go. No, you weren't. Your head was visible. By the way, it was today that I realized that combat records aren't a thing in this game, which is stupid. I swear, 2042 did the same thing where they just like took out basic things for no reason. They're pulling a 2042 and that's not a good thing, so. Okay, there's another one. Oh. Okay. That was kind of your fault for re-challenging that, but I probably would do the same thing too. Who am I kidding? Oh, I'm bad. You know what? Fine. Still got the three streak though. How do you know? How do I know? I just took a guess. Dude, I can't do anything. You can shoot me, that's for start. Throw trash. You get one more. There we go. How about you too? I promise I had not reverse boost. I actually got some pretty sweaty kids a couple games ago, so. Uh, I literally got <laughs> Hey, you guys are getting VTOLD. I don't want to hear it. I kind of feel bad to um, clap it on the sniper a little bit. There we go, gold. Alright, so here is the golden M4. And. Oh, if I can not die. And here is also the golden M4. Oh. What the heck? Okay. Let's go ahead and test this out. Alright then. <laughs> Good thing this is all vertical, so it's actually not the worst to control. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I figured it out. If you start low, then it just bounces high and you'll end up getting a headshot or something. On top of a flinch you get when you get shot. I remember Jeb doing the high recoil M4 on my for night. Wow, that's bad. I remember Jeff doing a high recoil M4 on Modern Warfare 19, and even for him, it wasn't that bad either, but I bet you he didn't have his sniper scope on it. If I remember correctly, he just had red dot. Okay, this is bad. All right. Do you guys do play on Modern Warfare 3? Those who understand, understand. Okay. I wonder if putting on a red dot sight would actually make this a little bit more bearable. Okay. This actually isn't too bad. Wait. 
Wait a second. This actually isn't bad. Oh, that guy got. No, he stole a lot. Oh, because that was the enemy mortar strike. Okay, that makes sense. Good thing squad spawn exists. I am surprised this is actually decent. And because everything is tuned to high mobility as well, it's just like ADS speed super fast. Even with the uh, jump ADS speed penalty, it's pretty much instant. Like, look at this ADS, that's pretty fast. That, no gun. <laughs> Deserve. Yeah, the M4 is a CDL weapon of choice, and for good reason, because even when you build this to the crappiest possible, it's actually still really good. I mean, look at that. Wait, what? I hate how a dot still appears even after you kill him. Oh, that was a little bit bad on my part. Obviously, for long distance, you're not going to do good at this at all, but we're up close, especially on shoot house and shipment when that. Yeah, look at that. What are you doing, bro? Okay. Yeah, that's, uh... That's stupid. The fact that I can even do as good as I'm doing with this. You'll get a better mic. <laughs> Muted for a second. But yeah, I'm genuinely surprised that was actually decent. Here's a build if you want to test it for yourself, because why not? Even with it being as crappy as possible, this actually still isn't that bad. It's mostly due to mobility, because up close, like on Shoot House, that actually performs pretty well. Now, if I had made slow, the SP just would be a whole different video, but... Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.